Hello, I'm Aaron. Uh, my team wished me a break a leg joke, but I've been on crutches all week. So, um, so I'm from the team Unfold, and something that we feel really passionate about, and a problem that we want to solve is, how do I find information about one event live? And so we developed, or we first went away and looked at, well, does anything like this exist? Or how frustrating is it to find news and things? So we looked at Twitter, and we found it was really noisy and frustrating. And then we went to Reddit, and we found that all the comments really were unnecessary. It didn't provide any kind of information. And so we then further went on, and we were looking at things like other news areas, and they were deleting their content after the live event had finished, or they were, there was duplicate information. It didn't really provide anything interesting. And so as you were kind of seeing there, we were following the US presidential elections, which are quite a long and lengthy process. So really, is what we want to aim to do is create quality narratives around events as they unfold. And so this is a little quick demo of how our site sort of works and what to expect. So pretty familiar face. This is Lawrence, I mean Edward Snowden. Um, uh, and so, yeah, take it away. Or did you want to show the demo? Yeah, okay, sure. So, um, Basically, here is a list of all the stories that we have on our site. And you can see some of them are the US presidential elections and the terror attacks in Paris and, and the bombing, Boston bombings and things like this. And these are really important events. But first, we're going to look at how the presidential elections are handled through and fold. And so you can see here that you, we've got this really easy to digest and simple timeline of events as they're happening in a very organized way where we're measuring the quality of these posts and they're, whether they're trusted or from kind of not so trusted sources. And this is all created and curated by both our user base and through this kind of reputation system where it's done partially kind of crowdsourced and partially algorithmically. So the real question is, who would this appeal to? And so it's what we did is we went away and we used a service like OnePulse where we, uh, we questioned uh, a whole plethora of people. And we found that most people who were interested in our product were between the ages of 16 and 35 where actually 75% of those people were following events live on Twitter or similar sites. And 50% of 16 to 35 year olds in our survey were interested in what we could provide as a service through Unfold. And so really, there's a lot of demand here, in our opinion, about our sort of space. And so then sort of the next step that we need to talk about is how we're gonna monetize Unfold. And so our first sort of process, or our first form of revenue stream, is content-related advertising. So it's really simple. We looked at a new site like the EDP, and they get 500,000 visitors per month, which is, sounds like a lot, but it's only 15,000 people per day. So we went, if they're getting 500,000 visitors, what are our operational costs to run our tech on that level of users? And it's 170 pounds per month. So it's very cheap to run for a large user base for our service. We can generate approximately 70 pence per user per year through, advert, through advertisement revenue. So we're very lean. And we can generate a reasonable sum of money just through adverts. Well, 500,000 sounds like quite a large number of people. But fortunately, we know what our demographic is. So we know how we can target these people on Twitter and on LinkedIn because they're students and young business people. We can also work with academic institutes so we can target them offline, not just in an online space. So the next sort of stage of our process is analytics for journalists. And James Montgomery has said that analytics for journalists needs to be at the heart of every newsroom because fundamentally, this is how they can drive their business. So it's what we're looking at is 50,000 journalists in the UK work in newsrooms. If we use 50 journalists subscribing to our model, we can generate five pounds per month from those 50 journalists, which is only 0.001% of the journalists that exist in the UK. We can still run at operation cost. So it's incredibly cheap. Our monetization plan is about integrating and developing and, and working with media companies in a symbiotic relationship. So we're not even competing with them. We're amplifying their business problem. Okay? So at our core, we enable curation of content so that we can engage users through journalistic metrics and, and make it a better place on the internet for news. 
Um, check out our app in our booth. Thanks for listening. Follow us on Twitter. And uh, are there any questions? When you have content pulled in from other uh, news media where they have their own advertising, would, would the, you pull in their advertising as well or would you have your own? So the idea is, is, is what we're doing is we're not actually taking all of the content from their site. We're taking snippets and we're taking snapshots of this information. So it's quick summaries, we're creating bullet points. So you get really nice detailed facts, but we're creating citations and sources to drive you back to their services. So we should be increasing revenue per visit, but obviously people are quite loyal in this industry. So we're hoping that we can get a lot of crosstalk as well, where people are going from, say, the BBC to the Independent or the Huffington Post or whatever. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Cool. Uh, do you guys not take a wage? Uh, at the moment, we want to kind of grow our kind of ecosystem. So we'd set that going first, and then it's something that we can hopefully build up, so then we can then kind of... So no wage? Well, yeah, because we're all employed. You're all, okay, so <laughs> do you do this on the side? So this would be, at first you've got, you know, build Sub it up. Subsidised by... And then try and get it into a right. livable sort of system. Thanks. Thank you.